Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. I'm the Deal Man and this is... Princess Stormy. Princess Stormy? Yeah. Why is that your name? Because Bob Types Too Slow said so. That's as good as reason as any. So Princess Stormy, what is this right here? Mm, my new computer. Your new computer? Yeah. What's wrong with your old computer? It's seven years old. <laughs> it's not quite seven years old, but it probably feels that way. Does it work great? No. No? Oh, is it having some trouble? Yeah. It is having some trouble. What kind of games do you like to play? Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft is a lot of fun. What else do you like to play? Overwatch. <gasps> Who's your favorite Overwatch character? Bridget. Bridget? Mm -hmm. Okay, Bridget, fair but enough. She can knock people off the cliff. There you go. Who's Daddy's favorite Overwatch character? Diva. <laughs> yes, it is Diva. Um, who's your second favorite Overwatch character? Gingy. Gingy, oh, that's a good one. What other games do you like to play? Mm, the Sims 4. Oh, The Sims 4 is a lot of fun. You can do cool stuff and Thankfully, it's a game like, game like Minecraft that doesn't involve shooting everybody. <laughs> yeah, you have to um, be other people. So, I like to do is I like to make families. Like, there's a mom or a dad, and then there's a children or a toddler. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Do you have any other favorite games? Mm. I know. Homework. That would be a big fat negative. She also does homework. Our local school system issues a lot of homework for our three kids on computer. And so actually when they come home from school, they have to do a lot of their homework on computer. They actually have a login to the school's website and they can pull that stuff up and uh, receive their homework and download the required documents and stuff. It's actually very cool. They're becoming quite digital in that regard. Teachers communicate uh, with us online as well. We get a lot of feedback as to what's going on. Now, her current computer, it's not seven years old, but I'm sure it feels like it. It's, it's the oldest of the computers we have for the kids at home. This is a new computer for her, and I've done a separate video detailing it and all the parts. I'm not doing that here, not to worry. Instead, I'm going to talk about her current computer, why we made this change, what the relative pros and cons are, and why you might or might not want to actually consider upgrading, because you might be in the same position that Princess Stormy is here, your computer might be a couple years old. It may not be running as great as you were hoping. Maybe it blue screens or crashes or you have some other kind of problem. Has your computer ever, ever blue screened? It's the blue screen of death. <laughs> it's the blue screen. <laughs> there you have it, folks. She knows what's going on. How old are you? I'm 10. Wow, you're pretty smart for 10. What grade are you in? I'm in fifth. Do you like fifth grade? Mm, no. What happens next year? I go to sixth grade. Sixth grade, is that in the same school? No. Is that in middle school? Yes. Whoa, are you gonna have a locker? Yes. And a backpack? Yeah, and I already have a backpack. Oh, separate classes? I don't want, I like two classes. That's good enough for me. You heard it here from Princess Stormy. Two classes. Two classes. For those of you wondering, her comment earlier, Bob types too slow, Bob types too slow sent in, there's a, a Floatplan exclusive video that's really cool. He sent in some very cool mitts for both yeah. my wife, Rogue Storm, and for Princess Stormy. And do you like your mitts from Bob types too slow? Yeah. They're very comfy, aren't they? Yeah. You use them when, and they're either, like, you use them when, in, when they're cold, and you can also open doors with them on, like, gloves because the gloves are too slippery they are very nice thank you bob we appreciate it now i am going to have a conversation about the parts on the desk so if you will excuse us for just a minute i'll bring you back in at the end of the video does that sound good yeah say go say go say goodbye for a few minutes everybody bye bye he's going to take a few hours <laughs> I do have a lot to say. What can I say? That was my lovely, sweet daughter, who frankly is the love of my life and the apple of my eye after my wife, of course. I do have to say, they're, they're sitting over there. You can't see them at the moment. They are peaches and cream sitting over there. They are wonderful. But I'm an apple. 
you're an Apple. Oh, she says she's an Apple. There you go. So this is the new computer that I have built for Princess Stormy. It is a Ryzen 7 1700, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig Western Digital Blue SATA M.2 boot drive. It's got a couple of other SSDs in there as well. You can see the video card here. It has an RX 580 graphics card, 450 watt, 80 plus bronze EVGA power supply, and a Cooler Master Masterbox 5 case. MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard. Overall, it is a very, very nice machine for about $800, give or take, depending upon prices when you're shopping. It's a great value. I will link to the separate video where I discuss this in great detail down below. That's not what this is about. Her current computer, this is a representation of her CPU. I, I don't have the box to her CPU, unfortunately, because I built it before I had a YouTube channel. Her current computer is an i5-6500. It's a sixth generation Skylake four core, four thread processor. It's a 6500, better than the 6400 by a couple hundred megahertz, 3.2 versus 2.7 if memory serves. It runs fine. It's currently installed in an H170 ASUS motherboard. It's the D3 model with DDR3 RAM. It's got a uh, 500 gig uh, SSD boot drive and a two terabyte hard drive for a data drive. No hard drives in here for Princess Stormy, all SSD. In fact, everything that I build now is all SSD. We don't do hard drives anymore. Helps having a YouTube tech review channel. I understand not everybody can do that, but well, when you have a review channel, you, you can. So that's what she currently has. Now for the games she just described, Minecraft, Sims 4, Overwatch, and some of the other games she plays as well, Four cores, four threads is all that you need. It plays very, very well. There's nothing wrong with the CPU. A new Ryzen 7 1700 is not going to dramatically improve the performance of those games. It will improve the performance of other games. It will improve multitasking performance. It will enable her in a couple of years to live stream. She's a few years uh, from that. You have to be 13 years old to live stream on Twitch, or at least to have your own account anyway. But it does future-proof her a little bit. It does let her get into other stuff. Uh, maybe she wants to get into 3D animation. Maybe she doesn't. And frankly, given the current price of Ryzen 7 chips, why not? This Ryzen 7 CPU I bought on a deal. It was comfortably below $200. In fact, roughly three years ago when I bought the i5-6500 4-core, four 4-thread four chip, I paid $180 for it. I paid under $180 for the Ryzen 7. The fact that a 8-core, 16-thread chip is cheaper than the locked i5s without hyper-threading from Intel is amazing. So if you're building a mid-range machine and you think, well, what do you need 8-cores for? You only save $30 or $40 by going to a Ryzen 5. Why not future-proof yourself? This computer, she's 10 years old, could easily last her through high school. Okay, she'll need a video card upgrade if she wants to play the latest and greatest games. Uh, maybe Santa will have to bring her one. But the, the rest of the computer, the CPU and everything else, really should last her through high school. Unless she gets into Twitch streaming or something else and needs something more powerful. But that's, that's going to be a pretty nice machine. Now, I have over here a representation of her graphics card. I didn't have a 1050 box handy. This is a 1050 Ti, but roughly the same thing. Our computer has a GTX 1050 in it, 2 gigabytes of VRAM, and again, 1080p gaming, Overwatch, and Sims 4, and Minecraft, and Roblox, and all the kind of stuff that she tends to play. Actually, for 1080p gaming, a GTX 1050 is just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But since we have RX 580s, and the RX 580 is now down to 200, sometimes under 200 with mail-in rebate, why not? Again, future-proofing. This is going to enable her to play and run everything at 1080p at whatever detail setting, at least that she plays and won't play Shadow of the Tomb Raider Ultra at 60 frames a second, but it will actually cover her for a long time. The kinds of games that she's likely to play over the next few years, an RX 580 will do it. She may not need a graphics card for three, four, possibly five years. For an $800 build with 16 gigs of RAM and nice SSDs and, and good airflow and good silent running, the fans in here are very quiet, this will get her set for a number of years to come. This upgrade, however, is not strictly necessary. And one of the things I want to talk about is if you're watching this video and you have a four core, four thread chip, it could be an i5 2400, 4460, 6400, 6500, it could be one of the Ryzen 3 1200 or 1300X 
processors, those are four core, four thread, very similar in performance to any of the locked i5s up through the seventh generation. The i5 7400 and 7500 are four cores. The 8400, the eighth gen, those are six cores. Slightly different equation there. But you may very well find that those CPUs have all the performance you need. You may not need to upgrade. Maybe you wait a year. I will say this, running Windows Update, having Steam run game updates in the background, or especially if you have multiple clients running in the background. You've got uh, Origin for The Sims, you've got the Blizzard client for Overwatch, you've got Steam for, well, there's a variety of games on Steam. They run updates, Windows run updates, you open Chrome, she accesses her online homework. Those updates alone, I tweeted a picture the other day showing Steam alone using four threads. On a four core chip, it was using all four cores. So the idea that normal users don't need more than four cores anymore, or I should say can't use more than four cores is out of date. You don't need them, but they're nice to have. And if you're in the market for a new machine, if you've been thinking of upgrading, perhaps your machine has some issues. Truthfully, her computer is blue screening. It needs a Windows reinstall. It's, it doesn't get as much attention and love as my own personal machines do, and frankly, if I wiped it and did a clean install, it probably would be just fine. But I don't have a machine with an i5-6500, so now I will for my benchmarking. I'll take that motherboard chip, put it in something else, and use it for the channel. And then she gets this beast of a computer, which matches her brother and sister. Her younger brother actually already has a Ryzen 7, and her older brother has an i7-7700K. That video is on the channel. That used to be the i5 CyberPower PC with a 6th gen i5-6402P. We have a Hyper 212 Evo on that, runs cool and quiet on the B150 Bazooka in that machine. Cannot recommend that enough as an upgrade if you have a pre-built with a lock system and an i5 if you can afford it or get a cheap chip. That's a really nice upgrade. But if you're building new, Ryzen is absolutely the solution. Interestingly enough, that is an option for a current machine, but I don't have another uh, seventh generation i7 to put in there. Her current system, the H170 board, would absolutely take an i7-7700 or 7700K. It's not overclockable, but it doesn't matter. It turbos to 4.2, it's a gigahertz faster than what she has, it has eight threads to her four, and it would make a dramatic difference to performance and provide longevity. But I don't have one on the shelf. And 7700Ks are gonna run you $300. It's really hard to find them much cheaper than that. My older son that I, we did that upgrade on that video on the channel, I had one on the shelf from a machine we took apart and so it was no big deal to put it in. You go sell it on eBay and fees and shipping and everything, you lose out a little bit. So we stuck it in there, it made sense. But generally it's not worth buying one unless you just get a crazy good deal. I re you can buy the motherboard and a Ryzen 7 1700 for less than just the cost of an i7 chip to upgrade an i5. It does involve a motherboard change. There is a little bit of work with that. But instead of going to four cores, eight threads, you go to eight 16, eight core, 16 threads. And you get a platform that is going to work for the next several years and will take a third and fourth generation Ryzen chip without replacement. There isn't any future upgrade path for even a sixth or seventh generation Intel. So there's a lot of value there. And I certainly could have reused her GTX 1050 graphics card, but again, building a new machine, go ahead and put all new parts in it, make it really nice for the future. I'll take her old machine apart. I'll use the motherboard and CPU for testing and for the channel and whatnot. Overall, what can I say? I'm excited, this is really nice. Now the video for this has already been filmed. As I said, I will link to that down in the description below. And Windows is already installed on here. Speaking of which, if you need a Windows key, link down in the description below to a really, really good deal on a copy of Windows uh, for under $14. That's what I use to activate on this and all of my test builds. That's a really good deal. And links to all of the parts in this build will also be copied down below to both Amazon and Newegg. If you like my channel and you like my content, those are affiliate links. They do support the channel. And using them when you shop doesn't cost you any extra and certainly helps us out. Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and several other links are down below. And with that being said, let's bring Princess Stormy back for a final word. I don't know what to say. She doesn't know what to say. Why don't you say whatever you want to say? Mm. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, you're very welcome. I love you.
And then maybe a two. Oh. Do you like your big fancy new computer? Yeah. What do you think? And it's better than Matthew's. I haven't even told her about the RGB yet. <laughs> the cooler is RGB, the RAM is RGB, the video card is RGB, the motherboard is RGB. That's pretty cool. And there's a software program you can run to sync them all up and change their colors. You can make the colors inside any color you want. Rainbow. You can make them rainbow. You can do that. Yay! Is it going to be your rainbow unicorn computer? Yeah. I'm going to add a tail to it and a head to it and I'm getting ready to the moon. You know, you like doing art class, don't you? Yeah. Do you know what would be really cool? Painting this. Yay. I honestly don't know what kind of paint you use on metal cases, but I'm sure we could find out. Yeah. I want to paint it rainbow. You want to paint it rainbow? Yeah. I don't know how to paint it rainbow, but yeah. I'm sure we can figure it out. I know how. You just put a strip of red, yellow, a green, blue, purple, red. What about orange? You forgot orange. <laughs> orange isn't important. Uh, orange is not important, she says. What about pink? No. No? No. What about purple? Um, yeah, this is the rainbow. So is orange. I know, but orange isn't important. What about black? It's not in the rainbow. What about white? It's around the rainbow. What about gold? It's not in the rainbow, but it's in your, um, whatever it's called, a wallet. It's at the end of the rainbow. Oh. It's in a pot. You have to go talk to you have to go talk to Rogue Storm about that. She has all the money. No, you do. Don't give it to me. I'll spend it all. I buy gadgets and technology and stuff. Give it to mommy. You give it to mommy, definitely. Good. At least she didn't say give it to her. Then you know I'd barely be in trouble. It's gonna be mine. Uh, of course, it's gonna be hers. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with a big huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, comment section. Links, other stuff in the video description below. Hit the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of when new videos come out. And hit the join button next to the subscribe button if you'd like to support the channel directly and see more awesome stuff. This is being filmed in our new upstairs filming studio that we recently set up, moving vlogs on my channel, and we'll have many more cool videos coming up very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. From The Deal Man and Princess Stormy, we will see you next time. But I have something to say. Oh, go ahead. Um. I don't, I can't see a big red button below. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, folks.